What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and today I have the Explosions Plus mod. Now what the Explosions Plus mod does is it adds an array of new types of explosives, which I will demonstrate with you right now. So first off, we have the Sticky TNT. Now what the Sticky TNT does is it just sticks to the wall as you can see, but when you activate it, it does not get affected by gravity. And uh, it just explodes like regular TNT. It doesn't have an increased range of explosives. It's just like regular TNT, except it doesn't fall when activated. This is how you craft sticky TNT. You get a regular TNT and a slime ball, and you get sticky TNT. All right, and here is the precision TNT. And, uh, let's just activate that real quick. What it does is... Oh, man, I'm getting some lag here. What it does is it drops 100% of all destroyed blocks, including ores. But it causes more lag because it has to, you know, get look at all those blocks it has to generate. Holy poop. Well, I'll be back here in a second whenever this is all lagged out. Right, and uh, this is the aftermath of the Precision TNT. It exploded, and uh, I actually turned off drops very temporarily. I guess these didn't go away, but... If I had drops on it, you know, it'd lag a lot, so well, look at that, there's a, there's a little dungeon under my house, I didn't even notice that. Well, anyways, here's the aftermath of the Precision TNT. Alright, this is how you craft a Precision TNT. You get regular TNT and surround it with black wool, and you get Precision TNT. Alright, so here is the Napalm Bomb, so let's just put that down, and whenever you activate it and it explodes, it will spawn a bunch of lava around it, and, uh... Will it, oh, there, look at that, there's lava. Just absolutely every, you do not want this to go off, like, in a straight up forest. Like, look at this. There's a giant pool of lava, along with lava coming down these, it's like sand dunes going on over here. This is just, this is just destructive, I'll tell you that. You definitely don't want this happening in your treehouse. Alright, this is how you get a napalm bomb. What you do is you get a nuke and surround it with lava buckets, and you get a napalm bomb. Alright, so here is the nuke. Let's just ignite the nuke. And the explosion of the nuke is five times greater than TNT, but does not leave any drops, unlike the precision TNT. Which is good, because it eliminates a lot of lag. And uh, yeah, this is, this is a pretty big area right here. Looks about as big as the precision TNT if you take out the uh, the drops. It looks very similar. Pretty similar, actually. This is how you get a nuke. You get an iron block and surround it with TNT, and you get a nuke. And here is the hydrogen bomb. Let's just ignite that real quick. It is 2.5 times more powerful than the nuke. It is extremely explosive. Look at that. That is... Look at how huge that is. That is just gigantic. Okay, let's see if we can... Okay, so you, you get a good idea of how big it is right there. That is gigantic. We come over here, and here is the tiny little crater that the nuke made. Compare that over there with the hydrogen bomb. That just that just makes it look tiny. Look at this thing. It is absolutely gigantic. To make a hydrogen bomb, what you need is a block of diamond, and surround that with TNT, and that will give you a hydrogen bomb. Now, with what you just saw with the hydrogen bomb, you might think, well, there's nothing that can chop that. Well, here we go. This is the Mega Nuke. Let's just watch it as it explodes. It takes a very long time for it to ignite, but it is well worth it. And here is the aftermath of the Mega Nuke. And I'm getting a lot of lag right now. As you can see, the area that it exploded is now covered in fire, which I'll just... Uh, Slash XT that real quick so I don't get any lag. Let's see here, all right. Still, still, still dropping down frames, but uh, you can see how gigantic uh, this hasn't even loaded yet over here. All right, let's see what we have over here. This is a this is a pretty deep crater over here. Jeez. Slash XT over here as well. Let's see how this looks. Holy, look at this, it even went into a ravine, that is absolutely gigantic, I'll tell you that. Even went into like a little river over there, this is, this is just, look at this, it is just huge. I don't know how deep it goes, but it is just absolutely massive, it is 
Much more powerful than the nuke, for obvious reasons. Much more powerful than the hydrogen bomb. It causes a massive explosion, hundreds of blocks in uh, radius. And that is the mega nuke. To, to make a mega nuke, what you need to do is get a block of diamond and surround that with nukes. And you get a mega nuke. Now right here, we have ourselves a nice looking, very large forest biome. And uh, hopefully nothing happens to it. That is, until we find the biome buster. Now you might be wondering, well, there's nothing that can top that mega nuke. Well, you're wrong. Look at this. Look at this. It is it is exploding quite a lot. It, it is a uh, is a frozen frame on the screen. Hopefully, the aftermath will be absolutely just devastating. Great, so I'm back here with my recording. And apparently that thing shot me up into the sky like, like super duper high. I don't even, I have no idea how high I am, but uh, I seem to be falling. I'm not sure if I actually am or not, but I'll, I'll let you guys know here in a second. This is the aftermath of the biome buster. This is, this is just devastating. This is a gigantic, gigantic huge, just a hole in the ground and it definitely lives up to its name biome buster it has left a gigantic crater all the way down to bedrock with you know stray blocks every here and there but look at how clean the bedrock is it is pretty much just clean bedrock down here except for you know obsidian which cannot be destroyed by explosives but look at this this is one bomb caused this imagine this happening in your world. I know I don't want that happening in mine, but it happened uh, for the sake of the mod spotlight. Anyways, that was the biome buster that lives up to his name. I'll tell you that. To make a biome buster, you need five diamonds, three mega nukes, and a dragon egg, and that will give you a biome buster. With the biome buster out of the way, we can actually look at something really neat. It is the Nova Bomb. What it does is it sucks in blocks and then explodes them out. Similar to Nova. In space, not the YouTuber. Anyways, let's watch this in action. Let's just back away. Those cows are just getting ready for the time of their life. Holy lag city, Batman. Look at this. Look at this. It is just lagging a lot, but try to back away so you guys can actually see this. Holy, look at that. That looked absolutely amazing. It is just shooting blocks out everywhere that was pretty awesome it is it makes my world look absolutely just gross i'll tell you that that little that little mountain top peak thing that was right here that is just that is just gone i'll tell you that it's just scattered throughout this whole entire foresty area with the river and the mountain and all that that is the over bomb ladies and gentlemen it is pretty destructive Yet very cool to watch. To make a Nova Bomb, you need one Eye of Ender and surround that with C4. And that will give you a Nova Bomb. Alright, so here is a nuclear airstrike. So here you have the beacon and the launch airstrike. Now uh, you just place a beacon like that. Right click with the launch airstrike button and... Wait for it. Oh, oh, 25 hydrogen bombs falling from the sky. Look at that look at that you can you can definitely hear that that is just you guys saw earlier with the hydrogen bomb this is 25 of those now let's just see the aftermath it is the aftermath of the nuclear airstrikes it is just wow it is very comparable to the uh to the bio buster actually it is is a gigantic radius, especially because it rains down 25 hydrogen bombs, but it is it is just gigantic. It is you don't want this blown up in your world. It is just it is just fantastic to watch. But you don't want it happening to you. It is just gigantic. To make the beacon, what you need is a block of diamond, two redstone, two gold ingots, a button, two redstone repeaters, and a redstone torch. So here we have the boob stick and the hell stick. The boom stick, whenever you right click with it, will cause a boom wherever your uh, crosshairs are. 
And with the hell stick, it does the same thing, but with lava. Well, that is pretty entertaining. The boomstick and hell stick are not craftable, but they have to be spawned, or in, you know, in creative mode. And the reason why is because they're fully automatic. You can just explode as many times as you want, and the boomstick will never, you know, never die. Its durability will last forever. Giving you lots and lots of fun exploding up your world. I know I am. I, you know, I prefer the boomstick more. Oh god, look at all these sheep. You can also, uh, use the hell stick. And there you go. Devastated though. Oh, look at that, there's one sheep left. Oh, it's all oh, okay, never mind, it's dead. <laughs> Anyways, that was the boomstick and the hell stick. Very, very devastating tools. So here we have the wrench, and what you do is you right click a bomb, and you can actually edit its configs. So let's just change the explosion size to 10. Fuse length, uh, 80's, 80's pretty good. Now, uh, as you can see, we changed it, and it will have a larger explosion. Not that much larger, but, you know, slightly larger. And there you go, you have a slightly larger thing. A slightly larger hole, thanks to the wrench. Now let's just edit that again, change that to, uh, let's change that to 50. Change that to 50, let's see what that does. Hopefully that doesn't crash my game, and... Let's see here, what do we have? Holy, look at that! This is just... Wow. Wow, why did I have to do this in the desert? With the sand and all that, that is just dumb. Anyways, there's a wrench, you can actually edit different configurations of bombs. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. To make a wrench, you need two iron ingots and shears, and that will give you a wrench. So right here, I have the plasma beam and the precision plasma beam. Now what the plasma beam does is, well, there it goes. It is a plasma beam, and uh, if you shoot it, it will shoot a very high, very powerful plasma beam to whatever you aim at. That didn't make a sound for some reason, that was weird. And uh, it makes glass and all that. I don't know why it's not making sound, is it? Does it know what yeah, I don't know what's going on with the sound. But uh, it is highly destructive. Same thing with the precision plasma beam. But instead, by its name, it's much more precise. So let's just aim for this chicken and dead. Dead. I don't know what's going on with the sound. It only seems to work whenever I shoot in water. Die, pig. There you go. Dead. What of it, pig? What a oh god, that tree's on fire, that's just fantastic. I race through this the plasma beam and the precision plasma beam. It only seems to make sounds in water. Very weird. A laser designator, one diamond, and two redstone. And that will give you one precision plasma beam. To make a regular plasma beam, you need to get a precision plasma beam and a button that will give you a plasma beam. So here is the elephant gun, and you can actually uh let's see, let's just kill this pig already. Don't want to zoom in that far. Right click, dead. Look at that. Look at that explosion. It's very similar to the boomstick. So this time you're actually able to, you know, have a scope, zoom in on something, and boom, dead. One of it. So let's just uh, let's see if we can find any victims. Oh god, that's where the bio buster was over there. Oh, look at all these cows. Dead. All of them are dead. Oh, look at that escaping over there. I don't think so. Elephant gun, what of it, hater? Well, I saw a chicken over here. I saw, I saw a yeah, Look at that. Chicken's dead. Dead. Oh, I don't even think about spawning. You're dead. What of it? Elephant gun, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very entertaining. To make an elephant gun, what you need is glass, two blaze rods, one wood, and an iron ingot. And that will give you an elephant gun. So here is the Predator missile. Very similar to what you have in COD. But uh, let's just let's just see it in action. So we're outside now because it only works outside. Just right click, hold it down, and there you go. Let's just destroy my house. Oh god, I suck at this. Yeah. Wow, I, I missed my house. I missed my house quite a lot. Wow, let's let's try that again. Let's try that again. Okay. Let's hit my house and no 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 oh dot. Wow. <laughs> let's try this one more time. Okay. So let's go down to the right. No, no I, I totally missed my house again. That is just fantastic. 
Anyways, you guys get the idea. It is a Predator missile similar to the one in COD, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. To make a Predator missile, you need two redstone torches, a blaze rod, one beacon remote, two redstone repeaters, and three buttons, and that will give you a Predator missile. So here is C4. You can just uh, right click on a wall and it will stick. Let's just, uh, let's just blow up this house. All right. You're going to need the detonator as well to activate the C4, I think. I think behind this cactus should be safe. All right, so let's detonate it with a right click. Holy poop, that just... That barely, that barely did anything, to be quiet. It, it didn't even seem to blow up the, this wall. I think this is the wall that I actually had C4 on. Let's, uh, let's try that again. It seemed to explode everything this way in front of the C4. I don't know what's, what's going on with that, but... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it's a bug. But, uh, or I just don't understand how C4 works. Anyways, that's how C4 works. You can actually detonate C4 remotely. And, uh, let's see here. Let's get some regular TNT. Let's put some C4 on it. And let's detonate. There it goes. Detonates the C4, which will detonate the TNT. And then boom. So there's the C4. To make a block of C4, you need redstone, two gunpowder, and six clay blocks, and that will give you one C4. To make the detonator for the C4, you need one diamond, a button, two iron ingots, two redstone, and one redstone torch, and that will give you a detonator. Alright, and this is the volcano. Let's just detonate that. And, as you can see, it spawns a volcano. Oh, I'm not even in uh, creative mode. Let's go to creative mode. And we fly to the top. And there's the volcano. It goes boom. And it will start spewing out some lava blocks. As soon as it stops lagging, of course. Let's let's just up, up. It's spewing out lava blocks absolutely everywhere. It is lagging my game out quite a lot as well. And there is, there is just lava just everywhere. It is just, it is just terrible. Look at this. It is just terrible. This place is just griefed. There is a volcano right here. Let's see what's inside of the volcano. Okay, there is lava inside the volcano. That that makes a lot of sense, but look at this. Look at this area. This It's still generating the chunks, updating the chunks covered in lava. It is just griefed. There's there's no way I'm going to live here anymore. And uh, yeah, this, this once beautiful forest is now covered in lava along with this desert. All thanks to the volcano over there. That is just fantastic. Anyways, that was a volcano. It is it is just destructive. That is an understatement, to be quite honest. That is... Look at this. Look at what it has done. Wow. That is, that is all I can say. It's just wow. To make the volcano, what you need is a Nova Bomb and a Napalm Bomb, and that will give you a volcano. Thank you guys all for watching this mod spotlight of the Explosives Plus mod. Uh, if you guys like the video, feel free to hit the like button. If you guys want more of these videos, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you want to check out the mod, feel free to click the link in the video description. And if you guys like explosions, feel free to check out youtube.com slash exploding TNT. He creates a lot of exploding TNT videos and it's pretty entertaining. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys uh, for watching. I'll see you guys here next time. Oh, bye there.